Okay, so I got my parts here. Here are my brake shoes. Right and the left. You have a right and a left. They're also slightly different. You can see that. Make sure you figure that out before you put the shoes on. Which one's right and which one's left. The only way to do that is compare what you've got on the truck right now. Uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's what they got at Craig and O'Reilly's. Mm -hmm. Got the spring kit. Well, these are the adjusters. Now, the adjusters don't tell you which one's right and which one's left. But there is a right and a left, so we'll figure that out. Like I said, do one side at a time. And that'll tell you which one's right and which one's left. Now, the spring kit comes in one package for both sides. So as you can see, you got two little yellow springs. Okay, one's the right, one's the left. Two whites, four of these blue retainers, two of these little springies, and you got these a big orange and a big yellow. So I assume one's the right and one's the left. I can only assume. All right, I hope you can see this. I hope it's bright enough. So apparently the first thing you got to do is take the auto adjuster spring out. So this is the auto adjuster spring. And then the auto adjuster bracket, which is this piece right here. And here's the new one. See the new one? See on that hole right here, in that big hole, it pivots. It pretty much rocks back and forth with a spring attached on the bottom hole. And this end here turns a little star wheel which is your little adjuster here and what happens is that these things wear out they just they get rounded off kind of or this lever here this is what turns that little wheel you know it it don't it wears out and don't turn the wheel no more so don't adjust your brakes these are auto adjusters the first thing you gotta do is unhook the little spring there. So the little spring. There you go. That's unhooked. Alright, now that's off. that's off. The lever should come right out of there. Oh yeah. Now what I'd like to do is set this stuff aside so I can remember how it goes back. So we'll put in which way they go. You know, so here's the brake shoe. The new one, it's going to go like that, right? Right. What I'm doing now is that I'm retracting the uh, adjuster, you know. The adjuster that's in there right now has opened up the brake pads like it's supposed to automatically adjust when it turns. So now you got to retract it, so you got to screw it back in like that. So the brake shoes retract back to their original position. So that's what this little tool's for. It's like a screwdriver. So that's that's all I'm doing here. Is retracting the brake shoes. The, uh, oh, and I uh, not the adjuster. I retracted the adjuster, which retracts the brake shoes in, which takes pressure off the return spring. So now I'm going to pull the return spring off. And I looked in my spring kit, and this one, the orange one, matches this side. So I'm going to separate that. And now I'll take the factory spring off. These little vice grips work great on something like this. That's loose. What I did is just unhook this side out of the little hole. There's little holes on these shoes, and you got to remember where these hook into. Okay, then there's a lower return spring, and that's this one down here. And I look in my spring kit, and there it is right here. See that? I'm going to pull that one off. Okay. So there's the lower return spring. That one 
comes off it's just hooked on two sides like that that goes down there and you got these hold down springs right here there's one on each side and that holds the shoe to the to the axle I guess and they got these little retainers on there if you look closely they got a slot see the little slot and the spring underneath there goes like that and a little pin that goes from the back side of the drum here see that yeah see that you can see that fits in the slot so what you have to do is push this silver retainer thing in and give it a twist and then you can pull this out that's all that is so you got two of these yeah and there's a special tool for that there's a handle there oh, yeah. if you don't have the tool you can do with some pliers some needle nose or something just hold your hand on the back side to hold that pin from pushing in. You don't want the pin to push in, you want the pin to stay out while you push the retainer around. There it is. There it is. Give it a quarter turn, see. And the, whoops. And there it is. And there's the spring. And then I'll pull the pin out. There's the old pin. Right. Same thing on this side. And that's out. Alright, now there's another spring. That's this spring here. There's one on the bottom. That goes down there like that. So that's got to come off. that one remember where all this stuff hooks back to now this one's obvious there's a little stud right here this one hooks around some of this hardware so now this should come out there's the one brake shoe you got these little gizmos on here but you got to transfer onto the new onto the new shoe I'm gonna do that right now just so I don't forget where it goes all right let's set that to the side there all right so that takes care of that shoe I'm gonna take this shoe off This right here is your parking cable, parking brake cable. You got to uh, remove that too. Or actually, yeah, you could probably leave it connected. But I can pull it off. You got to retract this spring on here, expose the cable, and push it out somehow. There you go. Ow. 
Now, here's a better picture. Yeah. There's your return spring, your adjuster, and this stuff here. Okay, so, yeah. So now what? So now I gotta take these things apart right here, okay? This. You got these little clips that go on here, little horseshoe, where are we at? Over here, yeah, these little clips right here. You gotta get them off the thing here. So what I did is I got, yeah, there's a there's a new one. So you know, what you gotta do later on is to squeeze the ends together to lock them in. So to get them off, I just use my, my vice grips to push them Hook one end of the vice grip onto the stud and the other one onto the clip. And push them off because you got you gotta spread them back out again. You only spread them so far you got my screwdriver in there and just pop them off with the screwdriver. So hopefully you can see that. I don't know how this camera's working, but so now I got those off. Throw these away when you're done with them because you got new ones. But uh once you get those off, then you can take these parking brake levers off the old drum, or the old shoe. Just remember how everything goes. Yeah. Okay, so you got the back side. You got the front side. You've got the adjuster and the uh, spring. There's the old shoe. Toss that over there. Hopefully you remember how everything goes. So you got to transfer this stuff. Might want to clean this stuff up. This is marked L. See that? At least this is marked. Left side, right side. So clean this up with a little WD-40. Could use brake cleaner. I just want to wipe them down. That's all. I want. Now I can transfer them onto the new, the new brake shoe here. That goes on the back. Where's the, uh, the gesture? This gesture comes with a packet of grease. You want to put a little grease on the inside there because remember this thing's got to rotate. The adjuster screws in and out. Hey. All right, I think I got it back together right. Kind of confusing. Um, yeah, it's kind of confusing getting this back in because this spring here has to hook in that hole. You got that hole and you got that hole. It's kind of like, well, how come this thing fits in there? It's awfully big. How come it... I was trying to put this piece here in that hole. And this, the spring, I couldn't remember where the spring hooked up to. And then the adjuster, see it's See how it's got like a fork end here? Well, it's got to go around the back piece here, hooked on there, and onto the shoe. Then your spring hooks on there, and that goes, fits loose in this hole. And you'll find that out because this piece goes on next. And the, this top hole and bottom hole have to line up with the other bracket. See that? Oh, so it's going to pivot like that. And that's why the top hole is so big. 
that's got to move back and forth like that. Ah. This is all making sense. I'm getting really annoyed with the background noises. So now I can put my clips on. So there's the bottom. There's the bottom clip. You got to squeeze the ends together to lock it in there. Just like that. Got the top clip in there, same thing, squeeze them together so they don't pop off. There you go, now it's together and hopefully it'll stay together. Okay, so what I did is I cleaned everything off now that I got it all disassembled with a little brake cleaner. Uh, you gotta read the instructions carefully on this stuff. It says do not, um, it says safe for most plastics, but uh, protect all rubber parts. Okay, so what are the rubber parts here? Those are your seals right here on your wheel cylinder. So I didn't spray this, okay? but I sprayed everything around there just to remove the dirt, dust. Had a little pan here to catch stuff. And now uh, I cleaned off these white spots here. I put some of that grease that came with the adjusters, white lithium grease. The brake shoes rub against there. And the manual says put a little grease on them. So there's a little grease high temperature brake grease it says but I guess this should be okay came with the adjusters just a little grease not a lot so the next thing to do would be to reattach the uh, parking brake lever here it's basically just a cable you got to hook back on the lever so although it looks fairly simple you know you got to pull spring back and Hook the cable, right? Yeah, well, it's not that easy. Of course not. There you go. There you go. See? There's always a little twist to it. Alright, I got that on there. I got that on there. Put this thing back in here. Alright. This little piece right here fits into your wheel cylinder little notch. Alright, I put the pins back in. See that but I got the pin through. Got to put the spring and the little retainer thing. There you go. Have a little coordination for this kind of stuff. Okay, there's that side. Now I can put this side. Same thing, the little thingy retainer pin goes in.
bring some ribs. So when you're using this tool, you can actually, it's got a little slot so you can see in there, see what you're doing. You can see the pin go into the hole. Before you turn it, you know, a pin's got to be this pin has to be through the hole before you turn it. So some people don't know that. They just push it in and turn. And then you also have to hold it from the back side so you're not pushing it out. Get that? This has to go through the hole before you push in. Push in, hold it from the back side, and then twist so it locks in. Some people don't know that. They don't do that. They just push it in and hey, and twist and it's not hooking up. And they get all freaked out and panicking. And hold on. So this thing here goes on the bottom somehow. Better stop and read the book, huh? Oh, okay. As you can see, I got the shoes in place. The little ends of the shoe are in the cylinder like they're supposed to be. And that side, that side, that side. The clips. I just put this lower piece in. I forget what this is called, but... This mounts on there, and also this side here, oh great, low battery, mounts, meshes up with this parking brake lever thingy right there. So. Okay. I need two hands, three hands, can you see it? Okay, and get that side in over here like that. Okay, I already put the lower return spring in. Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, it's on photo. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I got the little return spring in. I didn't post that, but you just kind of hook it on each side. But it goes behind this black thing there. Okay, this thing here. Got that in. It gets this other spring. It gets this white spring here. Hooks on there. And hooks on right there. I'm gonna need another hand here. There you go. Okay. Now I gotta hurry up now because the battery's running low. There's that. That. Let's see what we got there. That's in. That's in. That's in. Got that clip in. Oh, the upper spring up here. I gotta hook that in there. That hooks on way over there into that hole up there. It's going to take two hands. I'll use my little vice grips for that. Um, the little gesture thing. Okay, so stop. All right, I had to get the other camera out because uh, the battery, the battery died in the other camera. So there you go. It's all back together. All the little springs and things and um, yeah. So now what I got to do according to the book is put the drum on, adjust the adjuster from the back side, turn the little star wheel so the shoes expand out tight, and then back it off. It says 15 clicks. Okay, what I'm doing now is adjusting the, uh, adjusting the brakes. And instead of doing it from the adjustment slot on the back of the drum, I'm going to do them out front only because it's easier to get to. So I'm going to adjust them out a little bit. Put the drum on until they start to drag a little. You'll notice that the drum is harder to fit on once you're getting close. So in other words, this thing will 
slides off and on fairly easy now. See that? Deep. Hey. Hi, how you doing? Good, how are you? All right. These shoes aren't expanded far enough to be snug in the on the drum yet, so I gotta adjust them yeah. out. Hey you, where are you going? Get over here. Come here. Come here. Hey, Come you. here baby. All right, so I got them adjusted a little too much, but see, the drum will not fit on there now. So I gotta back it off a little. Alright, we'll try this again since I was interrupted um, so now I gotta back the thing off and to back it off something you gotta remember here is that the automatic adjuster this thing here is up against the we call this thing here the star wheel or something so you gotta relieve the pressure on this before you start running it backwards okay so you remember this hooks on the little cogs there on the wheel and turns everything tighter 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 and you're gonna run it off backwards now so it's just you gotta use a little screwdriver or something to so it's not riding on the wheel and then spin it backwards so. Snug that up just a little and I'll be done. 